And we're live! It's TGI Friday here to kick off your Lego loving weekend. And um, sorry for the delay in starting. We've had some tech issues. It looks like we've lost Joe in the fray. All right. As always, I'm um, joined by my lovely panel of Lego friends. Um, Joe seems to have gone A. Well, no, there he is. We've got Joe from the Gold Coast. How are we going, guys? Good, we can hear you. That's that's the start. <laughs> yeah, it's always a good start, isn't it? All right, well, we'll move on. We've also got Douglas McBrickin. Yep, and you peoples. Can hear you too. That's good. <laughs> yep. We got Dan, the man from New Zealand, who is um, tuning in from far, far south. I am actually. I am about as far south in New Zealand you can get in Invercargill uh, for the Southland Brick Show this weekend. He's so far south, I can just barely hear you. I'm just boosting <laughs> your volume, mate. All right. We've also got Bill and Jared here. Hi, all. I see something exciting being built there. Castle. Something a bit different. Yeah, something different. All right, and moving on to, oh, last but not least, Darkside Bricks. Howdy, all. Can you hear him, Bill? Nah, I'll be back. <laughs> we'll, play the, we'll play the go through the revolving door game, boys and girls. Oh, that's all right. He wouldn't have heard all the noise I'll make for my bricks tonight. <laughs> yeah, but I'll still have to hear it. No, oh, it's not if I was doing anything like that. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> all right, before we move on, we'll just make sure. Okay, dark side. Speak so you can tell whether he can hear you. <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> Don't do that. Can you hear me? Yeah. There you go. I'm fine. He's good. Okay. Well, what, one of these days, Bill's going to, to admit defeat with his Apple product and, and, and get a real computer. Whoa. Oh, no. <gasps> big words. I'm I just know. Gonna put I it love that. I love apples. I just, I just like stirring the pot a little bit. Yeah. I'm just going to put it out there. I'm on my phone tonight with <laughs> an iPhone, so it seems to work just fine. Bill does it. I'm kidding. I have an iPhone and an iPad. I just don't have, uh, you know, the buddy to drop on it on an Apple computer. It's, it's, silly. it's actually the uh, Hangouts update that caused it, not the... Uh, uh, it's, it's not the hardware, it's the software. Okay. It's, okay. The user, it's the user interface, the user era. Uh, wouldn't, it, wouldn't it surprise me that Hangouts has done something to stuff things up? Why anyway, can't uh, we just get along? Yes, why can't we just all get along? Uh, I want to say a quick hi to everyone who joined us in the live chat early on. We've got Martin M, uh, Shieldy1, Johnny G. Hey, Mick Brick and your score profile bricks. Don't know what that means. Uh, oh, was it you scored profile bricks? Okay. Uh, Tassa Ped, hello, hello. Warren uh, G, hello. And Jupiter's Kicks, hello. All righty. It's been an exciting week. Um, a lot of new stuff has um, come out that has got me excited and I don't want to look at it because I'm supposed to be saving for Melbourne, but I have a bad feeling I'm going to be going backwards in my savings for a little, just a little bit. Just a little bit. You can look at the stuff doing weapon factory. Sorry? You can look at the shut down weapon factory. Uh, <laughs> that's another big piece of news, apparently, and Leffen Factory's being shut down. <laughs> Who would have thunk it? It's only been three years. Oh, Jason Carpenter's popped in and Andrew Thornton. Hey! Hello, hello. So, uh, I will pretend like I was actually organised and, and try and see if I can find the link that I was going to share. So we can talk about the new stuff that's been announced in the past week or so. Now, where are we? Save things. Oh, don't pop up things at me. No, go away, Facebook. 
Give me a moment. Uh, oh, that's not what I say. Yeah, you might just have to go by hand. Who was it that was talking about all the new stuff? Brothers Brick. I think it was Brothers Brick. Brothers Brick. I'm trying to find it as well, Shrey. Yeah, I, I thought I had it saved on my Facebook, but clearly not. So you're talking about the, uh, the summer city sets? Yeah, the few of the oh, not ones? just the city sets. I, I've, I've found it. Um, there's quite a lot of different things, actually, but I'll just scroll and find They've been out like three or four days day this week. I think there was like, they dropped Friends, they dropped Island Nubler. They don't drop the new city sets. I think the city sets might have been the first stuff that came out. Yeah. And the Crimson Raider. Yeah. The Harry Potter. Sets, we've been to a lot of people this morning. Eh? Okay. All right. Okay. I found what I was going to talk about. Um, now, is the island of Nublar, is that the new Jurassic Park that's coming out, is it? Yes, yes, that's the new Jurassic Park stuff. It's, okay. not, a, it's not a movie, though. No, it's not a movie. It's just new, um, new stuff. Just new stuff. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. It's a Futurama spin-off, the Isle of Nublar. Presenting. Uh, okay, so... So we have some um, new summer sets for 2019. So, of course, summer actually means winter. Okay. All right, I'm just going to hide that. So we've, got, we've got a bit of a theme going with, um, with city at the moment. I was really hoping that one click would get me to all the pictures. Oh gosh, pop annoying pop up every single time. That's not what I clicked on. Welcome. <laughs> this is definitely not what I clicked on. Come on, brothers brick. What do you call this? Oh, okay, I see now. There's also um fire. <laughs> I pay no attention to the fire stuff. So we have a fire well, chief thing, okay? That, so that I'm not overly excited about. Well, that that will be at that twenty dollars price point. I would guess so. Looking at the size, it looks like the right box size for that. Yeah, yeah. I like her hair. Her hair's a nice color. Um, you don't see very much of that color in hair. It's they, not, they, that, they, not reddish brown. They, they definitely they definitely squeeze a lot into those sets. Yeah, mm. yeah. the city ones, but. Yeah, considering how small the set is, it, it, it's got some good detail to it. That's that oh, fire truck's yeah. a continuation of the Canadian-style fire truck too from current wave. Yeah. Oh, okay. My brother's saying try the brick fan page. Might be an easier one to actually use. Hang on. Because uh -huh. um, you see to that fire truck that, that that actually all packs up onto the truck, so the stuff slides in under the tray of the ute, and all the, all the stuff slides up, so that truck packs up, and then you unpack it to put out put out the fire. It's actually pretty cool. Okay. Oh, there's that news about the. Oh yeah, this has better pictures. Hang on. Let's go backwards, back through time. Sorry if I'm giving everyone motion sickness. So quite quite a lot has been announced and officially put out in the last week. So I thought it, it's probably high time that we talk about new Lego for the first time in a while with pictures. So a lot of friends coming out by the looks of it. Lots of uh, friends. Here's, here's City. Okay, so that's the truck we were just looking at. Oh, uh, we've got some uh, Indian stuff uh, too. What about what about the, what about okay. the donut truck? Oh, the donuts awesome. Okay, let's let's just go all the way backwards to that. I'm assuming that's the end of the end of the city stuff. 
Yeah, yeah. Makes sense uh, oh, okay. That that's another piece of news is that regional exclusives are going to be more widely um, released now. So no more of this um, scarcity. Not necessarily from this step because the wording that I've read, but whether or not that's correct. It's not necessarily these sets, but sets that are ongoing will no longer be uh, released. What does it say? Um, has become apparent to us that you're dissatisfied with the recent launches of regional exclusive products. We received a lot of feedback on Lego Festival products from the Chinese New Year, Lego Movie 2 Brickheads, and as well as the 20th, century, uh, 20th anniversary Darth Vader bus. This is feedback and concerns from you, our dedicated, most loyal fans. We decided to, to that regional exclusives launch after May 1st, so it's not backdated. Will become widely available via Lego brand stores and Lego Shop at Home after a limited period of time, three to six months initial launch. So, and then it lists other things that will remain exclusives. Okay, so we'll just go back to all the new stuff now. So this, we have a people pack. There's some interesting stuff. Oh, look, it's a face-painted kid. Do, do you reckon, but really? Because th th that'll be like 40 or 50 bucks, that set. Yeah, it'll be the same as all the previous people. Yeah. It's like fun in the park, etc., etc. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this, this looks like, you know, good value. Because you're getting all these different characters and different hair, like, you know, that's hair that hasn't widely been um, released yet. Same with the hat with the... You got, you got some good grey hair as well. Uh, what about the mullet guy? Yeah, the carny. Oh, the carny, yes. Gold. Gold, absolutely gold. Uh, I can see um, city people who, who who have cities are going to be excited by this one. That tricycle ice cream uh, cart is amazing. Yeah, amazing. is that the first time they've done a tricycle car? Yep. Nice. Very nice. Ah, uh, and my brother's saying we get two minifigure packs this year. But I think the other one is the um Close. the astronaut one. Space, yeah. So we've got some new hair here too. So it's good to see some um, diversity in hairstyles too. And who can go past the cute little ducks? Quack, quack. This is so cute. Had a, a very nice combination of, of different um, corsos and hairs and yeah, I can see people buying multiples of these to um, get some variety. Have you looked at the um, the city spa uh, the city space version of that set? The like their people pack. Yeah, not in close detail yet because it's, all, got, it's called um, doesn't overly enthuse me. It was it's, it's six zero two three zero. Okay, well we might look up that later. Unless somebody else wants to do it. <laughs> so this has some interesting stuff. Most people are, seem to be excited about this damn donut. There's not one piece, it's two curved pieces. It's oh, very it's oversized. Hard. Isn't it three? Oh, I mean four pieces, like at the top of the donut? Well, it looks like yeah. there's more than four pieces there because, like, if you, I, I'm just talking about the pink part of the donut, not the back of it. There's yeah. a very interesting looking colour. Yeah, because it looks like the piece goes into the top of the diamond. And these stickers look very similar to what's in that um, sticker pack that you can get. Extremely similar. And I have to say, Guten Tag to Mr. Mero for joining us again. Yeah, I reckon it's this piece here, ABC. Oh, I can't yeah, it is definitely sharing. Sorry, mm, it's that oh, piece yeah. off the top of the diner. Yeah, yeah, just four of them. Hopefully, the sprinkles are printed though. 
Okay, I think what I might do is go off. Um, where are we? They, they look like they are. Stop presenting. It would be pretty hard to put a sticker on uh, curved. Yeah. Yeah. Click on me. Yeah. Yeah. Cancel. Click on me. Screen share. So that we can see the guys at the bottom. That, that, that taxi is about three years old, nearly, probably nearly four years old, isn't it? Looks like a very similar one that came with the uh, redo of the train station about four years ago, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it is. And, yes, the donut does look like it's printed because I'm not seeing any edges of stickers. Yeah, I think that would be a very thing. hard thing to sticker. Yeah, it would. And it's a repetitive pattern when you look at it at the beginning. Yeah. It's just a very skinny donut. It is a very skinny donut. It's obviously not American. Um, so your characters are pretty generic looking. Like, you know, as far as faces and stuff, like there's nothing that jumps out as massively exciting. Like maybe this guy over here, the taxi driver. The TV crew is pretty cool. Yeah, well, and, and, and the thing here. And, what about the policeman? Look at the glasses on the policeman. Uh, Where's the policeman? The policeman's got like an afro and, and big aviator sunnies. It's cool as look. Aviator sunnies? I don't see aviator sunnies. Where? Look at the, the policeman chasing the bad guy. The one standing next to him. The one that's standing yeah. next to him. Oh, he might be two faced. He might be two faced. Yeah, see him? He is, look. Ah. So go, go oh, one of the other pictures. I see, I see. He must have two faces then. Yeah, yeah. 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 He he does. Look, look at all the other faces. Yeah, that is cool. Yeah, the other face is like determined aviators on his. Yeah, very cool. Yeah. <laughs> very nice. I quite like the blonde hair with the, with the you know, short. <laughs> Short hair that's suitable for female characters. Um, yeah, very nice. I see. You see a better, better look of him down here. Nice. Yeah, that, that's it. Okay. So this is a set that I've seen people get excited about too. It's got some good stuff in it. Nice box art. Looks like we're getting um, some junior sets too. More of the Octan stuff. Oh, and of course, Genius is all printed, so that's exciting for people who collect that sort of stuff. We you can bet the people the will cut these sets on Bricklink. Like, look yeah. at that print. That is cool. The car wash. Yeah, cool. yeah, the marks on the ramp from the car wash. Yeah. It's that's like very like clever. A, it's like a that's car wash around here. People doing burnouts in their freshly washed car. Yeah. <laughs> so, show the box. So, of course, juniors are very simple builds with the the car chassis being one piece. Actually, they're four plus now. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. I'm stuck in the past. I built all the new Toy Story 4 sets the other day and I didn't realize they were all four plus. I just thought I was going to. <laughs> Uh, some of the little kid stuff is the coolest. Like, look at this guy with the tool belt and everything. There's some nice, nice um, minifigures in this set. That's pretty cool. Okay, so that's the front of the box. Okay, well, uh, oh, we already sort of looked at this. So nice box art. Oh, this came out this week too. Braille bricks. Yes. Yeah, Very clever. What's Braille bricks. Braille yeah. is for kids that can't see, that are blind, to help them with their education. <coughs> I think it's like um you know, the basic basics of of um, Braille. Yeah, they really seem to be beefing up the education packs. Yeah. Uh, 
It's Actually, interesting how they've all got printing on them. So even people who are sighted can help them to learn it. That's, that's neat. Oh, goodness. It's time to pick up the bus. No, it's not. It's just, I've got a message and I forgot to set my phone just, to the diagnosis. Just messages. Okay, we're into friends now. Pass. New pieces, though. Look at the top there. New pieces. That's a pretty cool, um, pretty cool looking set. I like the purple ice cream cones as grapes. There's lots of interesting stuff here. We've got those new, who's tapping really loud well on a keyboard? Sounds like a typewriter. <laughs> who's that old? It's Joe. Joe? Hi. <laughs> Busted. Yeah, I like I like the purple ice cream users grapes. They're very cool. And um, the dumpster out the back is cute. It's very quirky. I know that friends isn't everyone's cup of tea, but I look at this for the pieces rather than the dolls. So I see um, potential. Hey, and seriously, look at this fun fair stuff. This is ridiculously cute. And then you've got something with the fairy floss that's not an, an overly expensive set. The coral is awesome. Oh, look at the, the shiny. There's a shiny pearl. On the other side of that blue base plate, you've got the coral piece. Yeah, there. coral is a new piece. Yeah. That is really cool. Yeah. And you feel. Looks like you get get um, a nice sticker there too in the ticket booth. So I look at this. If if you don't like all the cutesy colours, like there's nothing overly pink here really. That could easily be um, integrated into a uh, um, fun fair without it looking out of place. Architecture. That 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 aqua colour is pretty. Um... Well, it's pretty hard to escape, though, isn't it? Yeah. No, but you can always substitute out. There's always an option to substitute out. Um, oh, Trafalgar Square. This one's a bit older. Yeah, I like that. Oh, these look like um, creator sets? Yep. Nice, you're getting fishy. You're getting some nice pieces here. Rock work, woodwork, roof bits, nice, nice basic parts for mocking. Profile bricks, nice. Interesting use of parts up here too. For the smoke. Very cute. Yeah, yeah, we I agree with my brother. We have sort of gone back to theme parks as an ongoing theme now. Obviously sells well. Yeah. This is a little bit reminiscent. The colorway of this is very reminiscent of the um, mountain mountain shark. Yeah, just simplistic. From a couple of years ago. You'd need two of them. Yeah, it does seem very small. Hopefully it's a twenty dollar set because there's not a lot in it. Oh, it. Looks like we're on something else again. Oh my goodness, who is typing so loud for me? It's really starting to annoy me. <laughs> Who's typing loudly? That's all I can hear. Tap 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 tap. Can you hear it now? Yes, Joe. Are you typing now, Joe? Seriously. <laughs> it's the it's the um it's the old mechanical keyboards, the old game. Yeah, I know, I know. Both my husband and son have the mechanical keyboards, so I know what they sound like. <laughs> 
Well, it sounds do. like a typewriter. I'm waiting for the chip ching when you push the ribbon back to the oh. other side. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let, let's go back to it. You just, it's just so totally distracting me, Joe. All right. Um, is this something else, Creator? Um, townhouse and pet store. This looks cool. Oh, a little tram. Ooh. I haven't seen that. So we've got um, signage that's built with brick bits. And Are we liking this one? It's On the fence? Yeah. Oh, yeah. This we've got a dentist. Kind of cool but kind of basic at the same time. Yeah, I, I'd be interested to see what price point that one is in Australia. Uh, it was obviously one of the alternate builds. This one looks like to be the big build of the set. So this is probably... Uh, uh, what, How awesome is that? Probably a $60 or $80 set. It's like a creator Ninjago City. They've jammed as much in at every angle that they can. Mm. But how good would it look if you got three of them? Yeah. It would be pretty cool. Especially if you that, could, um, especially that, that, if you that, could that would fit more Bill City. Well. <laughs> Shut up, Joe. Joe. <laughs> if you, if you got, I can't see when you start talking, Joe, so. <laughs> He's trying to good. tell me I need three of them. Yeah, you probably do. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> we all get stuff. <laughs> Do you know that, that, um, Lou Reed from the Grateful Dead. The upside is these aren't out yet. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I do quite like this one. It's it's got some good features to it. It's even oh, got traffic lights hanging off it. Yeah, traffic lights. <laughs> But it's got brick built stuff. You know, you know what, Bill? You probably have a lot of stuff that you could already use in your collection. What you should do is look at the instructions and see what you can pilfer out of it without having to buy three of them. There, have I redeemed myself, Jody? No. <laughs> I want three now. Helicopter, because we all need more helicopters in our life. No. That's just a, a, a small giant drop. Yeah. If it's just three and one, that means Bill needs three. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jody's gonna ban him from being on here. Jody's gonna do something, that's for sure. <laughs> This is cute. We've definitely got a theme park theme going on. Like yeah, fairgrounds, yeah. fairground rides. This is a cute concept, though. That silver part of the UFO is the same as the donut without sprinkles. Yeah, it but is. it looks smaller, though. Oh, okay. No. You reckon? It looks smaller. This looks like a wider piece, but it could be just the angle, eh? Yeah. I, I like how they've made the little ice cream cart. Like, that is so tiny. That is. But it is cute. Okay. What else is in? Come on, I'm clicking. What is this? Oh. I hate it when he has, like, pictures that you think are bigger, that, but they're small. Look, look at this. That's not bigger. <laughs> So we've got lots of space theme coming this year. I'm not overly enthusiastic about space themes, but you know, it's it's what some people like. Yeah, yeah not me. I won't be buying any space stuff. Yeah, I'm a, I must admit when I saw all this and it was like the space stuff seemed to be the first wave of stuff to be released, and I was like Oh, thank yeah. goodness, things I don't feel the need to buy. I was like that. The thing is, is that Space Center is modular, so you can just buy as many of them as you want and just keep hooking them up, making it bigger and bigger and bigger, <laughs> which is something Jody doesn't want to hear. 
Uh, uh, Douglas, I hear running thing with you by multiple things. You're a bad influence. But it's yeah. in space. I have no interest. Yes. <laughs> I don't think I've ever bought anything city space. Like it's either city or it's space. Don't mix them. Yeah. I don't know. It feels like it needs to be its own thing. Like why call it city? Yeah. But it's not even on, on the earth. On the planet? Are we into Star Wars? So we're going back in time a bit now. They <laughs> call it Star Wars. <laughs> All right, there's close up pictures of things that I don't care about. Uh, Dark Side, are you there? Yeah. Well, what are you thinking of these? The uh, Clone Wars, I'm not interested. Ah, okay, cool. Then I can diss them. Yeah, diss them anyway. I don't care. I don't know. <laughs> What's that? Oh, this is stuff from the 20th anniversary set. Yeah. Finish that letter yet? Exciting. So much excitement. Star Wars. Yay. You hear my enthusiasm? <laughs> uh, Michael's Affle has the right idea. He says City is the most misleading theme name ever. Yes. I agree. Ah, oh, here we go. We're back in time to Toy Story. So these are the sets that you bought, Bill. Uh, yeah, we built all those earlier this week. Again, a theme park, um, fairground theme. Yeah, but Toy Story Four is set in a. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not, I'm not dissing it. I'm not, not having a go at it. I'm just like, look, it's a continuation of the same theme. It's like, where did the theme start and where did it end? Where they're like, oh, we're going to be making um, Toy Story theme park stuff this year. Well, let's make more. Why not? I really love these pieces with, like, the rainbow kind of explosions. Yeah, and because it's a 4-plus set, they're printed as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the little kid sets are really, really cool because there's stuff that you can get in that, you know, We'll stand the test of time sort of thing. What is that piece there? Is that a little chicken? What is that? Yeah, it's a little chicken character. Um, is it like a, a fluffy toy type thing? It is. Hang on. It's, it's Malika Friends. Are you, are you screen sharing or? Yeah, I'm screen sharing at the moment. Do you want me to show? I've got him in my hand if you want a closer yeah, look yeah. at the little fella. Oh, let's stop for a second. It's very frenzy. Oh, I love it. Oh, no, that's me. Oh, oh you're so cute. And Jody's just going. <laughs> <laughs> you call yourself a dilf, I'm going to punch you in the head. <laughs> <laughs> now, now. Self-proclaimed. Ilf is a word that is banned on my channel from henceforth. <laughs> not having any of that. No. Anyway, all right, um, we'll go have a look again. So this is cute how you've got the, um, you know, this piece that they always seem to use, the arch. It's a good use of the arch. Oh, that bunny rabbit's cute too. Oh, so much cool stuff. Like, the first set that I ever bought with a train in it was a Toy Story train. I was not a train person until I saw that train. I was like, must have. Oh, it's Rex. Uh, I hope this Rex doesn't try and fall apart because the old Rex has a seam up along his nose and for whatever reason it just splits that tiny fraction. It's a um, it's a very tiny Rex in mm -hmm. comparison to the old Rex. So yeah. it's not as big. No, oh, because these are all minifigure size. Yeah, 
Hang on a second, I'll grab Rex. And that's the thing too, is like um I heard people whinging about these sets because oh hang on, I wasn't even screen sharing, I'm special. Um give me a second so I can show people what I was actually talking about. So Rex Rex has like this seam along his nose here. And with the old ones from the, the last time they did Toy Story, the one that I have, it started to split along the seams just ever so slightly. And you'll notice that um, all the minifigures are like minifigure scale, whereas the old one, they were... Um, they had longer legs. Yeah, they had longer legs. Like their scale was very different. Okay, yeah. so you got something to show us? Yeah, so that is the new Rex mm. uh, in comparison to Woody, they're very similar. Whereas the older, oh, whoops, I just killed him. The older Rex, oh, there he goes again, was uh, much bigger. <laughs> Breathalyzing, <him>, buddy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. Uh. Oh, I'm going to actually get screen share this time, eh? Special. Uh, okay. So, yeah, so we've got an RV camper van there. Looks cool. Neat. Nice. This looks cool. This is exciting. The kids' playground. I like you. Oh, that's the only one I didn't buy out of the, all the Toy Story sets. Really? There was nothing in there that. Um, that interested me really. I could see using part, at least parts of that as a playground in a city. There were some okay parts, but not for the price point. It wasn't. Yeah, I bet the price point's ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Too yeah, it, was. it was too expensive. Just wait for it to go on on special because it won't sell. Uh, hi to Chance Gamer who's just popped in. Uh, we're just looking at some of the newer sets that have come out, either come out or are coming out soon. Got an evil Knievel looking guy. Interesting. I guess as a downside of um, license sets is that, you know, there's that, that extra tax on top. This is cute how they've got the army guys. Yeah, they're um, they're really, really cool, and it's an affordable set too. Oh, that's good. Uh, I think we might have run out of things to look at. Yes, we have. Okay. Is there anything else? Hang on. Let's scroll through this. I, I was just looking through the flicker screen string because it seemed simpler. Then clicking on and off of all of this. Oh, yeah, we missed some stuff. Am I still on screen share? Yep. Yep. Okay. Oh, hang on. I didn't see this one. This is still all very um, fairground theme parky. Yep. Girly pirates. Are they are they recolored um Silent Mary sails? Because they do look like it. They yeah. look very similar. It is. I'm gonna go get one. There's a chair swing. Yeah, there's a chair swing. Now somebody said somebody pointed out that there was a chair swing in the back of um what was it the roller coaster? The roller oh. coaster. No, I had a giant drop tower. The carousel had a chair swing. Oh, okay. Are, are those chains new? No. No. Are they? So. No. That's the okay. They look a slightly different shape, though, don't they? It's mainly the holes. That'll just, that's what will give it away. Are the holes the same? Interesting little prize wheel thing, too. I wonder if that has a mechanism where it actually turns. Looks like it might. 
It looks like you might be able to flick it. From the back, maybe, or the front. But yeah, some very interesting bits and pieces. Um, I think very, these are very girly similar. pirates. So, I, yeah, the I, bottom sail. This is exactly the same as the bottom sail. Yeah, it is. If Lego's smart, they'll um, have that prize wheel that um, so you can hook it up to a power functions or something. It doesn't have to spin fast, obviously. Yeah. That's another way of getting the girls. Oh, yeah. The, it, does it, show you that it, spins. it shows you that it spins. There you there go. Some good play features in this set. I uh, see. So you can spin the chair, um, the chair ride from the top. Nice. Okay. Oh, it's just showing the front of the box. Lots of interesting bits and pieces. Oh, light brick. Yeah, it looks like a new boy, Zach. Has Zach been out before? He doesn't look too light. <laughs> He's not allowed to have hair. He only gets pirate hat. <laughs> Sorry, Zach. You got ripped off, mate. Oh, the compulsory arm speakers. Yes. It's always a party at friend. Huh. It looks like we've got a bit of a water slide. Come aquarium. The GBC uh, people have been using that, that water slide to, to make um, a lifter. That picture is um, water slide parts. It used to come in with, like, all the random loose stuff that Lego would give to lugs. Yeah. So I guess the GBC guys must have just grabbed it. Yeah. I can do something with that. Yeah. Because yeah, you back them up, you put them one on top of each other, and then the ball just moves through the centre. They're definitely putting a lot more effort into the artwork on the friends too. Like these these cartoon images look a lot more refined. Maybe they're trying to tie it back to the friends cartoon show. Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, all right. So just another angle of the same stuff and get the idea. Don't linger too much on friends, hopefully. Mm -hmm. Balloon parts. That's a really interesting use of balloon parts. And, ooh, tubing. That's a colour you don't see very often. We've been doing a boy doll. Parts in a different colour. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've seen this birdie before. Yeah. So that's another GBC part they love, that tubing. Yeah, so in a nice, nice colour too. Okay, so we get to look at the box. So it looks like you might be able to easily pop off these to play with them too. Yeah, they've got little little um, plates on the bottom of them so you can pop them off if you want to play with them elsewhere. Cute. It's more box art, more angles. Okay, so it's got a thing at the top that you can turn. Nice. I'm quite liking these balloon parts. They have potential. Balloons. So why do they always do them in magenta? All colours. Yeah, well, going off the old Friends balloon, that was the colour. And the uh, yeah. The Lego Movie 2 second wave with the party palace use, is using the white balloon fragments. Mm, interesting. This looks like gymnastics. Well, she's got a ribbon. She's got a, um, a yeah. Yeah, yeah, it looks like gymnastics. Oh, that's supposed to be a trampoline, maybe? Trampoline. Trampoline. 
Now here's the front of the box. Oh, so we've got uneven bars. We've got a stage. Okay. Trimapoline. Oh, you can actually make a jump. Launcher into space. Yeah. I see. The spacing is continued into friends. <laughs> But it sells another horse float because, uh, yeah, horse floats are like the helicopters of friends. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're always doing horses. Girls and horses go together. Like peas and carrots. Yep, like peas and carrots. You can never have too many horses and friends, apparently. That's interesting that they're using um, light blue trans clear instead of just clear oh well guess it just works with their color thing okay you get the idea what's this a supermarket oh we got a supermarket trolley that's cute oh, look at that that's awesome that is cute. That is something. Okay, Brickling Stores, take note. Please part this. <laughs> That's cool. I want, I want one of those. I don't want to buy the whole set for that bit, though. There's some good other pieces in there, though. You've got some transparent windows and some ugly colours that you may not use. But this is cool. I like this. The awning. Because of the size uh, of it? Ah, uh, it looks like stickers. I can see edges. Very clearly see edges. A friends very it's a rare day that Friends does anything in a print. Um usually it's on things like vehicles sometimes, but in like the younger age group stuff. I've noticed their coffee cups are good with all of I think it depends on the piece you're talking about. Oh, okay, this looks like ah, oh, this is a younger version. So yeah, this is printed parts. No, I'm no, having no. a guess that there's printed parts in this because it says perfect start and then it shows how simple the pieces are. Yeah, that's like a before four and up. But it's not marked as such. Oh it is. It's a four and up. Yay! Printed. <laughs> Why, why brick pen? Why are you not pushing the? Like, am I going backwards in the photos? <laughs> I need to be seeing the front of the box first, not last. Oh, this is this is all printed. Exciting! Oh, look at that! Oh, milkshake. This is this fits? This is worthy of parting, boys and girls. Definitely. Uh, I think we already already look at the carny. Go back and see if there's anything else that we've missed here. No, we looked at all that. We looked at all that. Looked at all that. Lots of friends. Yep, we saw that. Oh, okay, Island Nibler. This is probably the set that most people who aren't dinosaur people are excited about because it's got a neck. That's kind of cool. <gasps> a baby dinosaur with multiple colours. Okay, I'm excited. I mean, I was excited before, but now I'm really excited. This is cool. Ooh, lots of you got, four, you got four different colours. you got Blue, Charlie, Delta and Echo, and they've made them all look definitely unique. No mistaking that. And we got uh, Danny Niedermeyer, Owen Grady, and Claire Deering. A little bit of um, a very, very sad looking volcano thing here. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then we have this T Rex in a, in a different colorway to all the others. So. Thank you, Lego, for giving me another T-Rex. I need another T-Rex in my life. Can you hear my sarcasm? You know so you're going to buy it. What, what, 
what kind of vehicle is that mech thing? Is it like a dino rider or is it a mech? It's a mech. It's like an actual like mech type thing because the guy is sitting at the back here. I don't know whether how well you can see that. Yeah, yeah. How cool is that? That was very cool. Oh, like this is the set that I've seen people that are not um, dinosaur people get excited about because of the mech, basically. Um, you know, are there any more pictures of this one? Okay, so this one's a 7 plus and it has a triceratops in a different colour. So it's not as realistic looking as the one that came in the dinosaur um, thing. Like 2012, but it's a different colour, so I'm cool with that. But look at this theme park. <laughs> we have a running theme. Theme park. So it's like a Disney Cups ride, but it's, it's like egg, Dino Egg Ride. And look at the yeah. little eggs up on the top. Yeah, 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 I know, but it's 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 like the Disney Cup ride, but it's dinosaur eggs. An incubator. How cute. Triceratops Rampage. Okay, so we get a tourist, mm. Owen, mm. Simon, and Allison. So some different people. We get some fencing, which is nice. You can make some broken fencing. Nice. And oh look, you get get some signage, museum, gyrosphere, and gift shop info. There's some stickers that you could use elsewhere quite easily. I like that a sticker that says line up here. Very clever. Okay, what else did we have in here? Ah, yes, new dinosaur. Oh, hello, Jenko. Ah, the mech apparently looks like it was made out of the Jurassic Park, um, Jurassic Park Jeep. Oh, okay. They, they just sort of reuse the parts. Yeah. No, 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 no. I, I, I don't know what the story storyline is supposed to be. I guess you'll find out when you have a close look at the box. Yeah, it kind of looks like that Jurassic Park, um, the car decal on the yeah. legs. So we got a Baryonyx. Um, this is... I'm pretty sure this is a style of dinosaur that they've done before, like in their really, really early dinosaurs. He's got a VHS tape in his hand. Yeah, I know, right? Danny Niedermeyer. Tinjin Prescott. Red the dog. Did Claire and Owen. Red the dog. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> But this is cool. I'm excited for a a um, different mold. But the head's definitely fairly different. Um, the body looks like the uh, oh, what's the name of the black dinosaur that they had in the um, Jurassic World sets? Indominus Rex. No, no, that was the white one. Oh, that was the white one. Um. Close though. Indoraptor, yeah, that looks like an Indoraptor's body with a slightly different head mold. So they've they've taken the Indoraptor's head and they've molded it slightly differently, which is what what a lot of toy makers do when they're um, creating new stuff. Usually they start with a base of something that they already have and they just add features to it. So I'm pretty pretty excited for a new dinosaur. That's cool. We got a little caravan. Um, this book over here looks looks very uh, treasure huntery. But of course, this being Jurassic World, 
Um, it ain't gonna be cheap, boys and girls. <laughs> okay, hang on. I'll go back. Who puts a tax on? Is that like a Disney tax? For that, uh, whoever whoever owns the um IP. To Jurassic Park, Universal is it Universal? Yeah. Disney, maybe Universal. It's hard to keep track yeah. these days, really. Well, Universal, Warner, and Disney are all one. Yeah, they're all in bed together. Mm -hmm. It has a has a nice Jeep. Like they've come a long way with um how they style out the Jeeps to look, you know, a bit more right. Like they've done some pretty darn awful vehicles in the Jurassic theme in the past. That that one's not too bad. Considering the size of the set. So you get a few interesting like landscaping pieces. In addition to the little itty little caravan. That caravan is so tiny. It doesn't yeah. have the right scale, but you know. What are you going to do? Okay, so that one was Baryonyx Face-Off, the treasure haunt. And this one looks pretty cool. Dilophosaurus on the lo loose. Um, it's nice to see a Dilophosaurus in a, in a you know, more natural colour. So it has on the, like, burn your retinas lime green. I like I like this the, the little coming soon and the dinosaur um, mouth and the hats not bad does sort of kind of feel like a hey we've got a dinosaur that we need to sell what can we put with it. Be interesting to see what the price point is on this one. No, no, you're absolutely all in thrilled, thrilled, thrilled to see dinosaur sets. Um, Harry Potter is another one that's coming out. That's a very tall minifigure. That one there. It's very tall. Compared to the other ones. Okay, I know nothing of of. So this is Harry Potter's Hogwarts Clock Tower. I know nothing of Harry Potter. I'm sorry, but I quite like their um. <laughs> Jason said no dinosaur disco though. Okay. Um, movable kid legs in the regular sets now. Yeah, and they, they use those, um, yeah, the ones that are articulated. Uh -huh. Yep. Yep. So they're finally appearing normal sets. But this looks different here. I'm assuming that's a mining. It doesn't look like she's got legs, but it doesn't look like she's like that. That's got an odd edge to it on the bottom there. And then it looks like it's a plate. On the bottom of a printed, a printed oh, no. brick with a or a tile, and on. Uh, I'll be interested in how close it looks. That Beatrix is scared. It's just one of these that's been printed. Probably. Uh, I think it's got something to do with the dance. I'm hazarding a guess. I've got to say hello, Mickey. Mickey 3CS has popped in. Ah, oh, so he's out front. Looks to me like we've got stickers. Surprise, surprise. Some good tan elements and, and profile bricks and such in this. And is that the Big Ben clock face? No. Or is it a new one? I think so. It looks transparent. 
pretty sure Big Ben, doesn't the Big Ben clock face, isn't it um, opaque? Printed? That, that looks like it's clear. Uh, Adam says inside the clock tower is still wrong like the last one. Well, at least they're consistent. Consistently wrong. Yeah, of course. But um, I can see, you know, you can learn some things of building techniques from this. So don't necessarily buy the set. You can go have a look at the instructions and learn stuff. Or you can just buy the set. Oh, more Harry Potter. What's this Harry Potter? Is it Hagrid's Hut? Yep. Another version of Hagrid's Hut because we need more than one, apparently. Yeah, well, they're updating the whole line. So, it's so everything, instead of having those green roofs, the sand green, now we're all in dark bluish grey or light yep. bluish grey. They're marketing Harry Potter to Batman. <laughs> I like the hippogriff. That's, that's quite nice looking. That's interesting too because it's it's got a two block, two by two gap in it back. Yeah. It's kind of like a fringe. Yeah. So this looks like a set that you have to buy two of in order to get a full thing, unless it hinges open. Oh, maybe hinges open. Yeah, it hinges open, yeah. You could just put it on the back of Yoda's hut. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it looks like I've tripped into another set here. We've got minifigures, golden snitch. Ooh, that's a nice version of the... Um, that dragon was at the um oh the name's on the tip of my tongue. So this is from the Tri Wizard Cup. I unfortunately know stuff like this thanks to Donna, it's all her fault. Hungarian Horntail, that's it. Tri Wizard Challenge. So they've got a golden egg. Nice. It looks very good. Oh, oh, Adam, Adam, Adam has corrected me. It wasn't hippogriff. It was a buck beak. My apologies, Harry Potter fans. Uh, um, uh, it'd be interesting to see what the price point on, on this because the Hungarian Horntail um, dragon was a bit hard to get your hands on. Oh, we've gone backwards into dinosaurs again. Okay, was that everything? Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. No, I knew there was one more. Expecto Patronum. Oh, yeah. With the, the very pretty looking deer. Yeah. Reminds, me, reminds me of Frozen. It's, it's a ladyboy deer. Maybe boy, oh, it's supposed to be all glowy and sparkly. Oh, it's a sparkly vampire, dear. Oh, I move on backwards into um, it's a trans again. It's a <laughs> so, yeah, more 20th anniversary Star Wars. The Taiwanese, oh, this one's exciting. Who oh, doesn't it's... want the narwhal? That's like a beefed up dolphin cruiser, isn't it? It yeah, is. With a lot of coral colour in it. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. Burn your retinas, coral. It doesn't look so bad <laughs> on this picture, <laughs> but when you see coral in person, it burns your retinas. It's that bright. It's and hello, cute. husband. He's just come home. No. Oh, he sounds so excited. That, and that boat's te terrible. Oh. Narwhal. I don't care for the coral, but I like the narwhal and I like the coral. The coral is very cool. Yeah, that's the new coral piece. That's a very nice new piece. 
Someone's cat is dying. Dark side, is that your cat? One of them. Tuck which, off, which one? <laughs> yeah, problem solved. It. You can't hear it now. Problem solved. It. Poor kitty. So this one has multiple decks, which is cool. It's kind of like the cruiser, very reminiscent. Yeah, this one. <laughs> Adam says, my eyes, my eyes. Okay, so we get to see the front of it now. Yay. Yeah, pretty much the only thing I'm excited about. Well, I suppose... Depending on what these pieces are, you could probably defriend this and make it a rescue boat hmm. that yeah. is worthy of a city that isn't burn your retina's coral. But if yeah, the other thing I'm excited project. about is narwhal and the coral. Yeah, if you get the dolphin cruiser, you can replace that coral bit with this bit. Okay. I, I think I've had enough of looking at new things. Stop. So Stop right now. Thank you very much. Yes. So, ah, yeah, you're showing the Dolphin Cruiser. Yeah. It, it's very similar to the Dolphin Cruiser. Yeah. That's what I mean. If you've got a Dolphin Cruiser, you can swap you that can bit swap out. out that horrible, horrible coral. Yeah. Like, it, it's okay as like a little highlight color, that coral, but oh my lord. When you get a lot of it in one space, it's like burn your retina's colour. I'm on my third dolphin cruiser. I keep, I'm on your third. I keep finding them in bulk lots. Every time I sell it to get rid of it, I end up with another one. They're haunting me. Well, they sell so well that they um, they were on clearance, I remember. I've never bought one new. Still never bought one. I'm not missing much. Don't uh, missing. Adam's prompting me and saying that we need to say something about Lego Masters. It's all we talked about last week, it felt, for ages. Hashtag Team Bilzy. Yes, hashtag Team Bilzy. <laughs> Doing that everywhere. Every time an ad comes up, like, they put up a video, like, the hype is like a maximum effort at the moment. Seems like every every time I open my Facebook, there's something from Lego Masters. That's not like Channel Nine. Come on, no, not like not not like Channel Nine at all. No, not even slightly. And the thing is, is that um, she's on friends um with other Lego, you know, people that follow Lego. They're like tagging things too, so it's filling my feed with everything they spot. And then I'm getting all the stuff that I've, you know, stupidly signed up for and said, I'm going to follow this page. <laughs> Peak Legoness. Peak. Okay, so three nights a week, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Really? Okay. Yep. I hadn't yeah. actually looked at them. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. That's good because those are nights of the week that I'm not working. Sweet. Channel 9, 7 p.m. Got enough. it. Lock it in. Lock, lock it, it in. in. Lock it in. What is we're, it? We're actually going to have a little uh, a little watching party, I think. Yeah, I was going to say you're going to have a watch party on, on Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, launch party. Is it, is it in half an hour increments? Or? I'm not sure, mate. Maybe the first one's an hour. Oh, I'm not sure. Like half hour would be a pretty good squeeze a fair bit in. Yeah, I think it's I think it's an hour, or an hour and a half. Yeah, I think they're yeah. an hour from what I've heard, but I also have not had that confirmed by anyone who actually knows. Check the TV yeah. guy. It's on this Sunday. I don't watch normal television. Normal people watch normal television. Yeah, I'm not normal people. I know. You say that so so assured, so assured. Yep. Hello. Hello. 
Oh, hi. <laughs> Husband just walked in from the other the other room. I had to make him feel feel part of the conversation. What have you got there, Douglas? I'm trying to figure out: Do these color schemes work, or are they just too clashy? Pull it back a bit. <laughs> what colors are they? Brown, red, dark brown, yellow, red, brown, grey, that skyish blue, like light sky oh. blue. It looks like a scene out of like Wonder Boy or something. Wonder Boy. Yeah. yeah I think I need to change the color of the top. Oh gosh, everything's gone out of focus now. <laughs> it's this big blurry mess. Oh, that's so a bit the bottom bit, the bottom bit looks all right, just as yellow and brown. Yeah. Just when you go in, that bit looks all right. That color. It's just when you put them on top of each other, it doesn't quite work. <laughs> mm. I think I have to find another tool. Maybe it just depends on your overall end aesthetic. You can get away with color clashes. If you, know, you do them right. Yeah. yeah. And where it's going to go, it's going to. Yeah, everything around it's all going to be a different color, so it might work. Ah, oh, everyone. I think everyone got bored while I was looking at new stuff and going, ooh, ooh. I think oh, Joe yeah. just gave up talking because every time he said something, it was like, shut up, Joe. Yeah, <laughs> that's all I meant. I was, I was just listening. <laughs> oh, no. I, I, was only really, I was only really interested in those first lot of city sets. Yeah, of course. It's all right. And the, um, and the, and the space. Did, did, did you cover the, the space people thing? Yeah, yeah. I clicked through it really, really quick because nobody was interested. Yeah, you were typing a letter, Joe, on the typewriter. Yeah, yeah, like oh. so loudly that I'm sure they heard you in China, Joe. <laughs> clack, oh, no, clack, sorry. clack, 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 clack. I've got, I've got a, I was talking to the other photographer. I've got a wedding in the morning in, in uh, Byron. Oh, you crazy man. Yes. So I've got to drive down there about nine in the morning. It's like a full day. I won't get home until about seven. Oh. So you second camera? Yeah, so I've got two photographers and camera, and we're doing video as well. Oh, cool. Yeah, so it's like oh, a, um, what they call, they call it a hybrid, hybrid coverage. It's sort of like a, it's where they reckon wedding photography is going, so you want to be able to, all the brides want a quick little video as well as photos. Yeah, so they can show everyone. It's like, look how awesome all the money I spent looked. Yeah, they, they, these guys aren't spending that much, but yeah. Oh, I'm just talking in general, Joe. Yeah. Well, their parents or the groom spent. Oh. Uh, yeah, I don't know how that feels. No, me the make my silvers. <laughs> Speaking of wedding videos, I just checked the guide, and according to the Foxtel guide, Lego Masters on Sunday night is an hour and a half. And on Monday yeah. and Tuesday are both our episodes. Oh, oh, cool. cool. And if you miss it, you can watch it back on Nine Now on the catch up television. Or on Nine Later if it's not on now. Well, <laughs> or on Nine Now Now if you're <laughs> in South Africa. Sorry, that joke only works if you know people who are South African. But anyway. I think Nine Now is uh, actually country locked. I don't think you can watch it out of Australia. Mm. But you can be assured it will be found somewhere. Need a VPN. Oh, yeah. Or if you have a VPN, you're sweet. So you're in Australia. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah. I I'm excited. Like, they've, they've been hyping that show up crazy. I haven't heard um, on one of the local radio stations here today. I heard a big ad for it. Hmm. Yep, mega hype. Mega, mega hype. Um, 
Did I yeah, actually, what one, one of my friends over in Perth, they um, mm -hmm. have something on this weekend, I think it is. Can't remember what, what town it is, what suburb. But um, at um, Nine Studios over there, they've got this big, massive Channel 9 logo that um, West Coast Lug guys built and it's on loan to Channel 9. But uh, the guys that are the miners, I can't remember yeah. their names, you know who I mean. The guys are yeah, I think they, like the, they do drill bits or gear. something. Yeah, the guys in the safety gear that probably were at the first first episode and never again. Yeah. Um, yeah, apparently they're having a meet and greet. It's like, wow, that, that's that's like hype. They haven't even started the show yet and they're having meet and greets with the people. Five, five, I think Bilzy's already, Bilzy's already done five interviews. Yeah, good for him. It's like, come meet the losers before you figure out they're losers. Yeah. It's only three weeks. So I, I suppose all that stuff they're going to have to just sort of cram into, oh, yeah. cram into the time they got. And I think what a current affair did something, what was it, last night or the other night? Uh, yeah, Hamish was on a current affair last night, and then again on the Today Show this morning. Ah, pipe train is in full tilt. Uh, let's put this way: the quicker it's over, the quicker people can stop asking us. Oh, you heard about that show? Oh my goodness! Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You, you know it's bad when you go into like you're like I, I'm in a few different log pages, and somebody just posted. Why is anyone going to watch that show? Like, she doesn't even say that Lego show, just that show, and expected everyone to know what they meant. So everyone just oh. trolls them so hard. You should have tried out for it, Joe. You would have done all right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I reckon it would have been worth watching. I don't know. Yes. It'd be nice if I would have had a yeah. good bit of money in the bank so I could afford to have the three months off. But yeah, we know, Joe. And didn't have a baby during filming. Yeah. yeah well, to, 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 to be fair, I probably would, probably would have only made it two episodes, so. Uh, I'm only three. Well, it would have been good quality. You wouldn't, you wouldn't be calling yourself a deal. Oh, I see. Ah. <laughs> Oh dear! Oh, you silly dilf! <laughs> it's um. Uh, I, I, I just watched that video just then on Facebook. I, I want to click on it on my phone so I can see the comments. Do you know you go into the video and it brings up the comments? Oh, I think they've disabled comments. Oh, on the, oh yeah, I know they did yeah. on the YouTube video. That's yeah. probably for the best anyway. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, the shorter version that they've got on their um, on their page, uh, I saw one mum complain and, sat and said, you know, did you, you know, you could have edited out that comment because it's not appropriate for, you know, the target audience is children. It's in a family-friendly time slot. These are her words, not mine. Getting, getting upset oh. about that comment. That shall remain oh, okay. named. I wonder if they, they, they I wonder if they edited it, re edited it, oh. it, edited it then. Edited it, edited Well, I have to have a look. I, I, I'm not entirely sure whether or not they've done anything to it. But uh, another funny thing happened. Apparently, Lego Masters got pinged by Endermel Shine by accident. Yeah, so one of their videos got taken down because they weren't on the whitelist for Endermill Shine because they own the copyright. And, like, you, um, you know, because it's the show that's coming up, obviously, they've you know, registered all their copyrights and um, to, to all their videos, um, content ahead of time. And yeah, so the show got pinged essentially by its own producers. <laughs> Oops. That's YouTube's fault for being too good at their job. 
Tom forgot to press a button. Yeah, <laughs> somebody forgot to click something because, like, you would think that Lego Masters would be on the whitelist. Hmm. What did they say? So, so Joe, ha having seen yes. the hype machine, uh, are you breathing a sigh of relief, or are you like, I wish I'd, I'd been able to? Oh, it would have been cool. Yeah, it definitely would have been cool. Would have been cool. Just two. yeah, just very, very um, time consuming for, for me. Mm. Oh yeah, especially when you work for yourself, that's got to stop. Not being able yeah, to. Yeah, like, like I said, if I was in a if I was in a different position financially and had paper money in the bank, it would have been great, perfect. Yeah. yeah. Just looking at looking at the highlight reels of like the space and you know the the um like the build room thingy where all the the Lego is. Like it looks yeah. like it would have been a good experience from oh, that yeah. perspective. Even if you did start one episode, it would have been yeah. cool. Yeah. I think so. I know this part. I know this part for me. There's like, uh, I wish I'd even like maybe just tried to apply and stuff. Like actually, yeah. apply. Well, the, 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 like the audition was fun as it was. You know, like yeah. they, they had a good selection of parts even just at, at the audition. Yeah. I think, I think it was about two and a half or three thousand parts, or sort of. We got each at the audition. Because oh, sorry, it was ten thousand parts. It was ten thousand parts. We got it. Wow! Because there, yeah. there were a few girls at work. They're like, you know, they found out that I'd been invited to the audition at the last minute. And I said to them, "Well, I couldn't go because it was too short a notice to get time off work." And they're like, "You should have just gone. Somebody would have taken the shift for you." It's like, yeah, but it was like, but I would have had to have begged my, my bosses to let me go. And then I would have had to have gotten there. Yeah. Because, you know, all these are in Brisbane. Yeah, uh, it would have been um, a bit of an issue. You, you, the, the train station was real yeah. close, but you would have been able to catch a train. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I would have been able to catch a train. Did somebody say Billsy three times? Someone did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ha hashtag Team Billsy. Well, it's hashtag Billsy and Kale if you want to be official. Oh, I know. We, we don't do official. Isn't it Billsy and the Yeah, of course. <laughs> hashtag three days to go. Hashtag three days to go. Uh, two days. Two days to go. Two days now, mate. Two days. Said that. I was just copying what he said. It's so good. Yeah. He's excited. He's excited for it. Yeah, hype, hype train. Right. But Billsy, we're um, we're we're Josh and Miller. Pretty cool. They seem like pretty cool dog guys. Josh and Miller, yeah, yeah, they're they're, they're legends. Yeah, the young fellas. Yeah, yeah, two. I think they're nineteen or twenty year olds. Yeah, they're they're pretty cool. Yeah. Definitely pretty cool. Uh, I just shared a post. I just put a post up of everyone's Instagram, so everyone can go and follow all of our Instagrams now. Ah, oh, cool. Yeah, I've seen that. They're, they're, yeah. they're not actual links, though. You didn't, like, no, put, no, put in the link so you can just click it. Yeah, well, it's easier for people just to copy that and put it straight to their Instagram instead of linking Instagram across. Yeah. Easy for you. No, no. <laughs> if people click on that, if they're looking at a Facebook in a web browser, it won't open the actual Instagram app for them. It'll web browse across. Uh, no. Well, you, you can set it to open you. It opens my Instagram now. Yeah. Uh, I, I know I know. I've picked up in, and followed the boys from WA. Yep. Because um, somebody, somebody is like, you know, their team is like fully spamming everything. With oh, their yeah. Instagram handles and everything, and I, I was looking at one of the guys. Their their Instagram is private. No, so as of this afternoon, we're all public now. Oh, okay. Yeah. I must have gotten in before it went public. Yeah. Cool, cool. 
Uh, oh, Matt Allen is asking, are you at Dreamworld again tomorrow? No, I'm actually taking this weekend off because um, I've, I've just had a really busy week this week. So I'm sorry I won't be there. We will. Yeah, Bill, Bill uh, and um, Jody will. What's his, what's his cup comment for this weekend? Hey. Oh. Uh. <laughs> What's Bill's Bill's was cup limit? <laughs> uh, twenty-four. No, no such thing. <laughs> no such thing. Depends what's on the wall. Oh. Coral, coral, one by four round arches. <laughs> Piles. Yeah. Oh, oh, knows. You need to finish the other 17 putt-putt holes. <laughs> I do. You have my permission. Oh, thank you. Oh, you have his permission. No, yep. I, I got started on Castle now. I'll have to get Coral in there somewhere. <laughs> just name the Princess Coral and just make her room that colour. I was going to name the Princess Bilzy. You need to get a fucking room. Wow. Mate, don't be jealous just because my Lego room looks so good on TV. <laughs> <laughs> uh, have you noticed that Bill's changed his, like, his aspect of what you see behind him? Which, which is good for me because then no one can say it's Bill's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. It's it's crazy, hey! Like I like I wanna I wanna tell you because I got to obviously got to watch it today. I yeah. wanna tell you what happened, but it's like oh, you no. need to watch it without you know. No like, spoilers. No, no, no! I'm not going to give any out, but it's like <laughs> yeah. It's, I it's, know you won't, but I know you wouldn't. But you know, it's just the theme lately because you got um end game is like no spoilers, don't spoil it for people. That was good too. They all done. I haven't been yet. Oh, Ash, fell, Ash fell asleep. She liked it that much. It was shit. <laughs> Jody didn't like it. How can you fall asleep in a movie? I like them all, but that one I was just so disappointed by. Uh, she uh, are the, the driving, so she was comfortable. She was comfortable. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. Stop tainting my experience. Stop talking about it. Yeah, don't, don't about talk about that movie. movie. I, I haven't seen it yet either. I, I won't get to see it for ages. Oh, that's gonna be even. Crazy. Even if you give spoilers, it won't ruin it. Okay, because no, you could predict everything that happened. Yeah. Mm. Is it as good as Black Panther? <laughs> no, nah, mate. Nothing. Nothing was as good as Black Panther, mate. <laughs> Black, 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 Black Panther and Captain Marvel, mate. They number one and two right there. Oh my god. <laughs> I haven't Fucking watched Captain Marvel yet. Oh, mate, you, you'd love it because you're a Black Panther lover. You'd love Captain Marvel. Trust me. Is it is it is it very PC? Yeah. Mate, it's it's so good. It, it lines up with X Men Origins as well. Captain Marvel was wasn't too bad. Shazam was terrible. Was it? Oh. Absolutely. Boring. Shazam was terrible. And it wasn't even funny. Yeah, the other one. Oh. Was you know what? Any origin type superhero movie now is just shit. They're, they're too far. They're, there's just too many of them. Like you can't make them original. Yeah. They're, they're Except all the Bumblebee. Except Bumblebee. Yeah, true. I, I, didn't, like I actually that. didn't. I didn't mind Bumblebee. Just, just the um, the, the G1 Transformers. That fight scene at the start, man, it's epic. As long as Michael, what's his name? Is it Michael Day? Uh, no, whatever his name is. As long as he Bay. doesn't produce, Bay. that's it. He, he yeah. ruined them. That's it. He did. Michael Bay. He should, everything. Explosion. He should stick, stick to making commercials. <laughs> yeah, like like that. How funny is that Toyota? Is it Toyota ad or Nissan ad commercial? Them guys got the models, and they 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 like yeah. You know, we couldn't afford to do a real ad, so they like got the dust machine like you've got Joe, and they got the little truck. They're pushing over little dirt hills and that. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> Oh, oh, God. Michael, Michael Bay at, the, at his best. Michael Bay. He just blow, just let's just blow it up. Boom. Yeah. 
one, one, you know, he done one, nailed it, should have walked away. Yeah. The first, the first one's the only one with, with ratings over 50%. The first yeah. one's about 66% on tomatoes. And then the rest, the rest are just dismal. You know what? Just like Black Panther, though, no matter what the movie was like, um, the, the, the money and the hype that the Marvel movies get now, it's, mate, they're printing money. Absolutely. Yeah. King can change. Yeah. Eight eight hundred and fifty million in the US alone this week the, the opening week for Endgame Jesus. already. Yeah. They're breaking records here in Australia as well. Like that's that, that kind of money. Like you can't even ca- like you know when 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 it gets to a point that it ends up being in the billions. Mm. <sighs> Soon anyway, the Russell yeah. brothers will have to. Soon the Russo brothers have to hang out with J.K. Rowling. They're all making that much money. Oh, no. <laughs> How do we get sidetracked on movies instead of Lego? Well, <laughs> technically, they've still got Lego Lego sets of their movies, so it's not too oh, far off track. Like, yeah. How many things doesn't have a Lego set these days? Well, at least there's a – I like that there's a mullet in the new Lego sets. Yeah, the carny. Yeah, we were looking at that earlier. The carny is cool. I love carnies. <laughs> I'd never date one. <laughs> never d- I certainly hope you wouldn't date one. Wouldn't you have uh, to be their sister? Uh, <laughs> 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 oh dear. This is going to go south real quick if we continue down this path of conversation. Jason says not many of the end game Lego sets matched up with the movie. Okay, then now we're not touching up with large pole because I have not seen it yet. Yeah, I don't think the end game sets were very good. Well, I guess that's nice. No spoilers in the end game sets. Nah. Wait, guys, I'm just looking, get back to Lego. I'm just looking at the pictures of the um the Le- Leopard factory that they raided. Oh, Surely. Yeah. Sh- Surely that's not the factory. It was no. no, no way. That's the factory. I've seen. The, I know the photo you're talking about, man. That's like someone's garage. Of yeah, like, yeah, yeah. There's, there's like there's three die machines on it. There's three die machines. Yeah. Nah. What? Well, you know, if, if you think about it, right, like a, a, a front. You know, oh, here's our factory. Oh no, don't raid us, uh, suckers. Yeah, because I, I would have thought, like, that their their factory would have to be like huge. You think so, yeah. If not huge, really, like pumping some stuff out. It just yeah. doesn't look like it, yeah. And then, <laughs> but then on the flip side, if that is Leppin's factory, man, that little factory bringing down Lego, that's impressive. Yeah, exactly. But, well, I was just going to say it's like 630,000 products, like finished products, with an estimated value of $3 million US dollars. No, they've made a lot more than that. No, 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 that—that—that's that, what got seized. Oh, okay. I suppose that's, 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 that's a lot to seize in Lego. Yeah, but see, it says it says four people were arrested. Then you look at the pictures, and the coppers have got maybe there's probably a hundred a hundred little workers standing in front of the coppers with all the boxes and stuff. Oh, yeah. If you look at those boxes too, I can't remember what they called the Star Wars stuff in that photo, but I, I didn't think that's what Leppin called it. Star plans. Star plans. Yeah, didn't they call it like Star Warts or something? Uh, yeah. Star Wars. It wasn't planned. Ninja Slugger instead of Ninja Ghost. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Phil, wow, well, I remember too. Sorry, man, I didn't get back to you. My fences are the ones with the cross hatching on them, the ones I bought heaps of. They're not yep. the ones, they're not the white picket ones you wanted. Yeah, no, that's cool, dude. Not a problem. Yeah. Thank you. Sorry, man, I, I did mean to get back to you, then today got away from me. And then Joe come over and yeah. You're right. Thank oh, you. Joe. I'm blaming Joe. That's the one good thing about that Dimensions, Fantastic Beast Dimension set, this part. Ah, yeah. They make really nice windows. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you get four. Is it four of them or eight of them? Uh, one, two, three, <laughs> uh, six. Wait. Six per box. Six per box. It doesn't yeah. look like it's. It doesn't look like it's that taken down. Hang on. Oh. 
still seems to be all right. Yeah. What, what website are you actually on, though, Joe? Like, what's the actual website? On leppinworld.com. You'd know. No, that's not the official site. Yeah, just get it out of Bilzy's favourites, Joe. <laughs> the, the official Leppin site doesn't even have the word Leppin in the address, in the web address. Wow. No. Just get it off AliExpress. Oh, that's there. Yeah, they're just resellers, but yeah. You gotta imagine too how many resellers will have stock still. Oh, heaps. Yeah. Like, like, like Carrara Markets. <laughs> and that's the one too. Um, Ali Union, the Chinese, big Chinese bank. Yeah, they're starting to make all of our um, FPOS terminals compatible with theirs. Well, isn't it Ali, the AliExpress, the owners of AliExpress, Alibaba, they funded, um, was it Mission Impossible? I think it was Mission Impossible, the, the latest one. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, well, no one else would fund yeah. Tom Cruise. Uh, yeah. I would. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it'd be interesting now that, if, now that um, it's gotten to this point where the, the Chinese government is shutting down left and stuff. Does that mean that governments in other countries are going to follow down the counterfeits and, and shut them down too? Possibly. Depends who pays who. Yeah, exactly. Because mm. it's not, it's, if you think about it, it's really not even in China's interest to shut down counterfeit. You know what I mean? Because it's keeping the, that's oh. what probably runs half of their bloody, oh, their, yeah. their, their money. In the, in the case of Lego, I think it's because they, they want to go down the legit path and, and, you know, have a partnership because of the new factory. Um, they yeah. want to create a feeling of, of trust. China, China's trying to go green as well. Yeah. Um, Lego's built them a nice big green factory, something they can show off. Mm. Well, I know that I know for whatever reason, you know, one one link or another, that the Chinese government just took all of the um, share bikes out of the Gold Coast. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. You know, all the orange ones that were everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. So they're all owned by the Chinese government. Yeah, and, um, right. yeah, they, 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 they all disappear this week. Good. They get take, they get taken out. You mean all the ones they could find? Yeah. <laughs> Who are those Melbourne blue ones then? Leppin. The thing to show up in uh, the blue ones are Leppin. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you find them on trees. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was no different here. I remember the first week they were here on the Gold Coast because they have the, the loop padlock thing that goes over the back tyre. People were, like, unlocking them and then putting them up around tops of poles and big tops of eating sheds in parks and then locking them. Yeah, I remember that. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know... For for, for, for for council workers that needed to clean them and get rid of them and clean them up and that, you couldn't do it because you had to pay for the bike to unlock it to pull it down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like the big stuff up down here. It's like, oh, yeah, here's these free um, share bikes, but um, you've got to bring your own helmet. <laughs> huh. Like, what's the point of having all these bikes everywhere if you haven't got a helmet so you can't legally ride it? Mm. <laughs> oh, shit, I just ran a red light. I mean, no, I didn't. No, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, kidding, kidding. That was a joke. Yeah, hey, 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 jokes. Jokes, Did baby. Please learn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've got I'm going less, less than 5k's an hour and I've got all my flashing lights on so it's not like I ran a red light in a hurry <laughs> oh, so the camera definitely got you then I smiled good eh <laughs> you go back and autograph it soon <laughs> no that, that's one of the ones I autographed before when I was radio famous uh, radio famous, radio yeah. famous. <laughs> How big is that head, Bilzy? 
Well, it fit in the bus stop. Did you see the photo? Yes. Oh, my goodness. There's a, there's a Lego bus stop in Brisbane. Where, where, where did you watch the um, the show at today? Um, children's Hospital. Oh, did you? Yeah, with, with, with the children. Because they've got like a – inside of the children's hospital, they've got a school. Oh, and okay, we watched, cool. Yeah, and we watched it with all the students at the school. Oh, cool. That's cool. It, it was. It was, it was. It was really good. I mean, their, their attention span, like, obviously, you know, wasn't – they couldn't last the whole episode. Is it, is it that good? Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's great. It's great. When we're off air, I'll tell you how good it really was. <laughs> Oh, good. Uh, man, it's hot. How hot is it? I don't know. I can't see my degree thing on the dash. I'm on the wrong side of the truck. He's driving then. He's driving then. Auto control. I'm in a Tesla. It's, it's self driving. Self-driving. I'm just supervisor for the night. You can you can say anything right now, and we have to believe you. Good job, R two D two. I have to say hi to John from Bricktastic Blog has popped in. He says, I just Full him. Night. "Yeah, full house, and somebody is about to be famous." I just messaged him actually, like half an hour ago. Oh. While running a red light. <laughs> oh. He's making up things now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when I meant red light, I mean, you know, the red lights in front of the doors? That's the kind of red light I mean. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tom says thanks for the message, Billsy. Oh, good brother. Ooh. It's when it gets really filthy, and it's like, so what gutters are you, are you cleaning? Well, I've only seen one shoe and one wallet tonight, so it's a quiet night. Ah, it's a quiet night on the streets. No, you're not near here then. You got a party up there? <laughs> nah, not till Sunday. All yeah. right. I like who, who's hosting. Who's hosting the the um, party? We are. We are. Oh, so it's your turn. Well, it's actually not our turn, but the person's turn it is is not saying anything. So we're going. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Nah. We... <clears throat> Joe. Joe. Um. <clears throat> um. What was that, mate? Ah, ah, of course he wasn't listening. <laughs> no, it's doing something. What's yeah, up? Typing a letter. Yeah, on your clickety clacky keyboard. No, it's just no I, I just my, my mate's opening a um a new restaurant, and I just found a a, a place called the same name in the states. <laughs> <laughs> Is it called Wendy's? McDonald's. <laughs> no, well, <laughs> Pearl and Ash. McDowell's. McDowell's. McDonald's. McDonald's. And hungry, hungry Jake's. Oh. <laughs> anyway. This is you know, I, I, was, I wasn't actually going to have a viewing party because, like, you know, you don't know how you're portrayed and, like, nervous and whatever. And I'm like, ah, oh, that's, just, that's just laughing. Not me and everyone else. Yeah, exactly. I'll laugh at you. You'll be surrounded by friends that will laugh at you. Friends. Friends. Are you air quoting friends? Friends. <laughs> I'm not going to feed you if you don't classify me as a friend. <laughs> Want to be friends? We're going to like we're going to Japan in six weeks on Tuesday. Associates. Associates. <laughs> Marketing team now. <laughs> uh, do we officially have to write Billsy and Kale? Uh they 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 want us to, yeah. Oh uh, no. Nah. 
I'm only going for one of yours. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at it this way. I can't win without Kale, and Kale can't win without me, so. Yeah, yeah, you put it. Did did um did Kale end up using his not his Frostbricks um Instagram yeah. Billsy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He come around. Yeah, and uh, it was only going to benefit him in the long run anyway. Because because they they have his Instagram all over the little video and stuff anyway. Yeah. Fifteen. How good's that, man? I wish I had fifteen thousand followers. To be honest. Yeah, 15,000 followers would be nice. You need to be more Dilfy, apparently. <laughs> that word is banned. Banned, I tell you. Well, you say it's banned, but good luck telling all the parents around Australia what it means. Oh, I know. There's one mum that's already complained. Well, they, they shouldn't. They don't need to complain. They're complaining about what's on YouTube. Um, I don't think it comes across on the actual... Show. It doesn't come across on the actual show. Yeah, no, I don't think it does. Oh, uh, yeah. Which is probably why they put it online. Oh, oh. you can get away with more stuff. Less, less. Well, I honestly can't remember because it was, like, noisy and it was the start of it, you know what I mean? So I can't remember. Can't remember. No. But it was good to see, like, the angles and... and, and different point of view on what, like, you know, what was built and what was there and when, well, like, did a good job of making it look good. Oh, yeah. But at the same time, it's like, I get it. They've got to cut a lot out, but, man, they cut a lot out. Mm. Yeah, it's like film, film a whole heap and use this much. Well, I guess, you know, for, for a, what is it, a one hour and a half hour and a half is the opening episode. Mm. Um, the first build was was uh, 18, I think. <laughs> 18 hours. Yeah, that was our – well, yeah. We, I, I don't want to give too much away, but in total it was 18 hours. Wow. That's a lot of time to be doing one thing. Anyway, we're all excited. Oh, yeah. I just hope people are excited enough to watch through it and watch episode number two, not not, not just be a flop after episode one. Fingers crossed for you. Yeah. Oh, not just no, me, but everyone. Right. And everybody. Yeah. Well, you said you were hoping, so I was like saying fingers crossed for you, for your hope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, see the Lego Masters or Master Chef. Or my house rules, I think. My house rules. Something no, like mine that. Mine does. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's, on, that's on too. I, I think I think the un, only breed of reality television I will watch is if it's Lego related. So, um, the, the the interesting, I guess, point of it will be, you know, people like us that are right into Lego compared to someone that knows nothing about Lego. And, Seeing what angles they both come at it as, how they how they both view it, you know what I mean? Yeah. That'd be the interesting side of it. Okay. It's like everyone goes quiet every time Dilsey stops talking. I think we're all about done. <laughs> Don't like a dinner. Uh, I, I'm looking forward to Sunday being viewed and over and, like, the, the initial hype can be finished and we can just watch it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're right. Like, the hype, they've, they've pushed it like you wouldn't believe, obviously. You know what I mean? It's everywhere. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I think I think Adam's sharing it more than Channel Nine sharing it. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Oh, funny. All right, kids, it's been good having a little chat. I just realised it's 11 o'clock and I've got a massive day tomorrow, so... It's getting late, Joe. Time for bed. TikTok, yeah. TikTok. Thanks for dropping in. Yeah, good luck tomorrow, mate. 
Ah, uh, you rock it. Have fun. Yeah. There'll just be skill. You got all your gear packed, ready to go? Uh, yeah, it's, uh, I'm charging batteries and stuff, so it, most of it's ready to go. I've just got to put it all in the bag here. and I was more just um, clearing memory cards and getting all that sort of jazz sorted. Yeah, yeah. Hope, hope she's not a bridezilla. No, she, they're, no, they're nice people, so it's all good. I don't know. The stress of the big day can make people change. Yeah, it's a tell. It's a tell. I come across how I come across to sort of. It's all part of it. Yeah. Yes, it's quite the experience shooting a wedding. Yeah. I've done it once. Yeah. Never again. Never do it. For yeah. No, family might be a bit hard, but <laughs> friends, it's all right. It, it's, yeah. a, it's a really nice spot too, so I'm hoping it, it, it's a beautiful day. It's, it's good weather forecast, so I'm hoping just to get some nice, a lot of nice little portfolio shots for myself in general. Oh, good. Yes. Nice. All right then, guys. I'll okay. Learn, uh, and I no doubt I'll, be, I'll post some shit on Facebook tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Catch you Sunday right. night. Hey. Catch you Sunday night. Yes, mate. I'll see you on Sunday night. Oh. Ta da. See you, mate. Bye. See ya. Oh. <laughs> That's the <laughs> wrong button. Don't forget, don't forget to, what button to press. That was a long <laughs> goodbye I've had in a while. It was like, you know, them streamers, they, they, they like finish their stream but forget to hit stop streaming. Or oh, oh, they do that whole that whole thing where I I, I I can't remember which button to press to make it stop, and they just keep talking while they're figuring it out. It'd be worse if like their mum came in and started yelling. <laughs> <laughs> or your dad winning a mobile phone. <laughs> ah, it's all good. Hey, Philip, you've been quiet. I know it's Friday. Yeah. You been up to much? I just finished my train table. Finished, finished? Yep. It's going in its travel box tomorrow morning. Oh, hurrah. That's awesome. God. You can make a tricycle with the oh. old motor. <laughs> <laughs> Oh wow, that's like an eighties bike with a skateboard wheel. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> Very cool. Jeez, Douglas, you can hold on for like three seconds for me to finish a conversation. Sorry. You had the bike up to the camera in the second you asked me. I know. Seriously. <laughs> I mean it's cute and all, but dude, Philip never talks on Fridays. Oh, no. good. Oh, good. Oh, Martin, Martin M says that's really cool, Dark Side. Cheers, Martin. I'm now going to have to take some video of it so before I crack it away tomorrow. Yeah, Did I'll just say, Phil, Phil never talks on the Fridays. No. He never shuts up on bloody Between the Bricks. <laughs> that's different. <laughs> All the streaming from Dark Side, yes. <laughs> so, have you, uh, um, Philip, have you started twitching yet? Uh, tomorrow night, actually. Tomorrow night, okay. So, so for anyone who hasn't already gone over to Twitch and, and um, was it follow? You follow on Twitch? Yeah, follow because I'm not, I, um, I'm not able to be sub, I'm not able to be subbed yet. Yeah. Okay. So so follow okay. um was it Darkside Bricks on Twitch? Darkside underscore bricks, yep. Okay. And you'll be starting Twitch streams. Woo! You'll be like Dan. Yeah. And Billzy. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Billzy is also on Twitch. Billzy without the skill on the green screen, but yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, doesn't have to be fancy. It's about the heart. Just copy it. Yeah, <laughs> copy it. Go, Billsy. What are all your settings to make this work? Actually, I've had, I've actually been helping Dan with his settings. So, to be honest, yeah, I've been using their settings. <laughs> wow, that's hilarious. The only difference is got the green screen. That's all. Yeah, yeah. it helps. It does. Uh, John from Bricktastic Blog says he'll be getting on the Twitch train soon. Uh, have I missed the curve? Should I have gotten on Twitch? Yes. You you Twitch it up on YouTube, you weirdo. I Twitch it up on YouTube. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, I'm just telling everybody, go to another platform. Watch somebody other than me. Yeah, they're exciting. Well, I don't, I'll make sure I'm still on your stream on Tuesday and Fridays. So... Oh, and I'll, really? I'll make sure I don't stream when you or your brother are streaming. Oh no, that's okay. Yeah, that's oh, like, that's like when I started to on to make sure you know you don't you don't want to you don't want to step on each other. You know what I mean? No, that's right. It doesn't well, help. And, it doesn't and help if we're trying to get the Australian Lego um, scene, you know, oh, out there if we're yeah. treading on top of each other to do it. Yeah. Yeah. True. Well, and also you know we all know each other, so like that's your audience. Yeah. Start off with. The ones that aren't going to judge you too harshly when everything doesn't work. Yeah, when everything falls apart. Oh my God, everything. Been there. Work. I've spent too much time setting it all up and getting it right. Mm. Oh. Tell me about it. Look at my first month. Yeah. yeah. Been there. Yep. Yeah, so if anyone hasn't, if anyone does do the Twitch thing and they want to follow Billsy, he's I am Billsy on everything. 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 Pornhub included. <laughs> ah. I did not need to know that. Yeah, but you've only got those three videos on your channel, I've been told. Yeah. On Pornhub. And, and they all start at ABC. Mrs. <laughs> 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 oh, <no. laughs> Strikers just went up. <laughs> Welcome oh, to the <laughs> <laughs> This is the part where I mentioned people from Lego have actually watched this stream recently. And they want to see my one by five. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh. Which is really only, really only a one by two with an extreme close up. Oh my god! <laughs> dear oh dear. Wow. It's like come and follow Ian Bilzi. There's so many trans one by one clears. You'll be amazed. <laughs> Get it? Oh no! <laughs> I don't want. It. I don't want to get it. I got it. I, I, I'm just letting that one sail right over my head. Thank you. Oh yes, you do. I've got it. Now I can't un-got it. Fantastic <laughs> <laughs> says he's been using um, dancing. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I've got a question. Uh, are you going, uh, Bilzy, are you going to do like an after Lego Masters little, you know, pull everything apart? What's that say again? Sorry? Uh, Lego Masters After Dark. Huh. Oh. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I think the, the contractually talk. you're probably not allowed to, right? Lego Masters After Dark, and it's like you could like have like a calling, uh, like a, a call sign would be Lego Masters After Dark, where the real studs are. Oh, no. Oh, dear. I was, I was thinking more along the lines of like the Talking Dead and um, Game of Thrones 360. Where yes, they that's what I was talking about. But no, no, you take it down a completely wrong path. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I'm oh. the one that suggested it. It's all John's fault. John, one of these days you've got to get your butt back onto the, the panel, please. You promised me, and now you're only in my chat. <laughs> He's laughing. He's laughing his ass off. Well done. <laughs> anyway, I'm looking at the time and thinking, um, isn't a Bill and Jody having to do a park run in the morning? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna uh, bow out pretty soon. Oh well, um. 
I think I'm thinking maybe we should go in a post show. Um, we've had an interesting uh, commentary. We've had a special guest. Well, Joe, definitely special. This is back. Um, okay, well, we might wrap it up there. Um, I, I probably need an earlier night too because I've had a very very busy couple of days. I uh, want to say thank you to everyone who's joined us in the live chat. You guys are what makes this show interesting. Otherwise, I would be just talking at screen. Uh, I want to say thank you to Dark Side Bricks. Bye. Bye. See you, champ. Thanks to Billsy for dropping by. Appreciate oh, yeah. It. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Well, that was McBrickin. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. See ya. <laughs> thank you to Bill and Jody. As always, guys. And also thank you to Joe who was here earlier. I haven't forgotten anybody else that snuck in and out. No, I don't think so. Dan oh. the man. Hey. Oh, Dan. Dan the man from New Zealand who was in a motel with really crappy Wi-Fi. I forgive you. Um, hopefully he'll be doing some live. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's doing live streams at um, the show that he's at. I can't remember the name of. Sorry. Um <laughs> During tomorrow morning, I believe. Yeah, we... tomorrow morning. So yeah. whatever that time difference is, New Zealand time. So um, make sure you check out his Twitch. He's between the bricks. I yeah. don't think. Uh, I think. It, will he be doing it on a Facebook as well? Um, I honestly don't know. He might. He might be. I think he's most likely going to be on Twitch, but he's between the bricks on Facebook as well. So in case he decides to go there. Okay. On that note. Thanks, everybody. Have a really great time. Um, next weekend, I will be back at the Dream World show. I'm not going to be there this weekend. I need a time out, a bit of um, family time, and um, hopefully get to see Endgame on Monday. You'll love it. I hope so. Good shit. All right. <laughs> see you all. Keep on building. Bye. Bye. Okay, bye-bye.